Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Archbishop Cordelioni of San Francisco, and I want to thank Walter and Lori for inviting me to be a part of this webcast and thank them for all they do through Issues for Life Foundation to uh, promote uh, awareness and passion for respect for the sanctity of human life uh, all throughout life from the very beginning to the very end. Uh, Walter and Lori, as we know, are great heroes in this effort. Uh, Walter is a real shining star. Uh, for quite some years now, I remember the first time I, I met Walter. I was uh, actually serving the church down in San Diego, and I had come up here for the Walk for Life West Coast in January of 2009, and I had the privilege of being invited to a uh, dinner afterwards by the organizers and speakers uh, at the rally before the walk, and that is where I first uh, met Walter, and I was uh, so impressed by his gentleness and his kindness and uh, a very uh, mild demeanor for a man who had, has such uh, great courage in speaking out on behalf of life. At that time, he was facing a trial for violating a local ordinance of uh, simply approaching women who were uh, going into an abortion clinic to give them information and offer to pray with them and, and help discern with them uh, the epitome of nonviolence. Yet the uh, City Council of Oakland designed an ordinance particularly for Walter Hoy. It was targeting Walter Hoy specifically with this ordinance and managed to find a way to arrest him for supposedly violating uh, this ordinance. It was shortly after that, uh, about two months after that, that I was named the Bishop of Oakland when uh, Walter ended up being um, convicted and sent to jail for that. He spent some time in jail for this noble cause, and uh, I had the great grace of being able to go visit him at that time and uh, try to give him some support and compassion that he uh, was the one who inspired me by our visit during that time. So uh, it's a real honor for me to be on this show, and uh, it's uh, an honor for me to be invited by uh, Walter and Lori to uh, support them in the Issues for Life Foundation. I encourage all of you to give your support to this cause. There's so much work that needs to be done, and yet we sense a certain change in momentum, I believe, on the issue of respect for human life. Uh, we are aghast at some drastic legislation we see in some of the states, such as New York, that not only is the legislation itself extreme in allowing the extermination of human life in the womb and potentially even outside of the womb, but the great uh, joy and, and celebration and, and hysteria, really, that surrounds the passage of such brutal and evil legislation. It is truly horrific. Yet on the other hand, we see other states passing legislation that is uh, protecting uh, the most vulnerable life life in the womb and uh, supporti supportive of women who are all too often not able to make a choice and have uh, feel like they have no alternative but to have that life removed from their womb. So many women have been deeply scarred by this and are hurting. We as people of faith are the ones who reach out to them. What does it really mean to be pro-woman, if not to be there when she is hurting to help her heal? It is we people of faith who are there for her, not the ones who supposedly claim they are for her, uh, only uh, when it comes time to eliminate the life in, in the womb. We see a growing awareness of this. We see a growing awareness of the, the biological reality that this is a human life we're talking about, a distinctive human life. The science is undeniable, and people are finally being uh, made aware of this and sensi sensitized to it. There's a lot of uh, hurt and, and deep division in our society because of this. We must not contribute to that. We must be... Uh, we must be agents of peace and of healing and uh, not uh, cast dispersions on anyone, but simply raise awareness of the realities that are at stake and to 
uh, to bring people along the path of conversion of heart. A lot has to be done. We need to come together to give women support in these situations. Again, as a person of faith and in my own faith tradition, I can be, I feel very proud of the work that we do to help women who are in such desperate situations to help them, uh, make choices that are happy and, and choices that lead to life. Women need so much support in order to do that, uh, of housing sometimes, of employment, of uh, a lot of practical support, as well as spiritual support. Uh, as people of faith, let us continue to be there for her. We are the ones who provide it. Let us do so, so that uh, women in those periods of crisis in their life might be uh, surrounded by love and support and care and compassion and not be victimized again by having no other recourse uh, but to end the life of the child in their womb. In um, my uh, ordained ministry, as so many other ordained ministers experience, too, ma too many women tell us that they didn't want to go through with it but felt like they had no choice. We need to be true people of choice who give her the choice of uh, giving birth and raising the child herself the choice of adoption, which is always a happier alternative uh, than ending a life, and the choice of being able, uh, on the other hand, to be a mother. So uh, thank you all for what you do. Thank you, Walter and Lori, and let us pray that God will grant us the grace, courage, and strength we need to be advocates for life and to uh, build up a culture of life here in this great country of ours.